Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today's question was suggested by a viewer. Thanks to Wormy SXL for this one. Amy plays a Chaos Warp against Nick's Isumaru, Hound of Conda. Because this is Nick's commander, he says that he'll put it in the command zone rather than into his library. Does Nick still shuffle his library? Does he still reveal the top card and have a chance to put it into play? Okay, so the first thing that I want to observe is that the replacement effect that puts your commander into the command zone instead of the library is optional. If Nick wanted, he could have his commander get shuffled into his library, in which case I don't think it should be controversial to say that the rest of Chaos Warp's resolution would happen completely normally, working exactly the same as it would against any other permanent. Nick would make this decision when the replacement effect applies, that is, immediately before his commander changes zones, meaning that Amy would not know Nick's intentions about what zone his commander is going into until the spell resolves. Another fact is that putting your commander into the command zone when it's going to a public zone like the Graveyard or Exile actually works a little bit differently. Rather than totally replacing the event of going to the library with going to the command zone, the game actually lets the commander go physically to the graveyard or exile for a split second and then moves it from there into the command zone. The implications of this are a little bit outside the scope of what I wanted to cover in this video, but I talked about this sort of interaction in a lot more detail in my video about how it the betrays works against a commander. So you can check that out if you're interested. For now, Let's return our attention to what would happen after Nick chooses to apply this replacement effect. The instruction says to shuffle Isamaru into Nick's library. It isn't immediately obvious whether the library should still be shuffled if the Isamaru itself goes to a different zone. Fortunately, the comprehensive rules have our back on this one. We can see that if an effect would cause you to shuffle a specific object into your library, the library is still shuffled even if another effect makes that object go to a different zone. This is probably a good thing because Chaos Warp does not say that revealing the top card or being able to put it into play is in any way contingent on actually shuffling a permanent into your library. If that rule didn't exist, it would be possible to scry or otherwise set an expensive card on top of your library, and then Chaos Warp your own commander and be guaranteed to get a big hit. The rule on screen guarantees that even if you don't shuffle anything into your library, you still do have to shuffle your library, so you're getting a random card out of it. Now, some of you might have heard me say that you don't have to actually shuffle anything into your library to be able to spin the wheel with Chaos Warp and have your ears perk up a little bit. That's true, but there is a catch. It doesn't mean that you can just Chaos Warp your own Mind Stone, hold priority, and sacrifice to draw a card, and still get the good part of Chaos Warp's effect. When a spell is about to resolve, the game first checks to see if all of its targets are still legal. In the case described in the original problem statement, they were meaning that Chaos Warp got to continue on to resolve. In the Mind Stone example, there's a different story. An object that's no longer in the zone it's supposed to be in is not a legal target, meaning that for the Mind Stone case, none of the targets of Chaos Warp are still legal when the spell tries to resolve. That being the case, the spell cannot resolve and it's instead removed from the stack. None of its effects would happen, so you would not get a chance to upgrade your Mind Stone into another permanent. And that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another Daily Ruling. Until then, I hope you have a great day.